What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to data log with HP Tuners MPVI2 and, or MPVI1 and be pretty similar process. And this will be the same process whether you're with a Mustang F-150 and, I, and that's all I remote tune. I don't remote tune Chevys. Chevys have to be in person because they're Chevys. Brand new car. Just put this little JLT on it real quick and it's going to be a E85 tune, flex fuel tune. So we can go ahead and get started. All right, guys, here in the car. So we got the tune ready to go. I already have one written up for the JLT. This one's not a flex fuel tune yet. Whenever we're tuning your car, if it's a Mustang, if we're tuning your car, we're gonna do it on 93 first or 91 first. And then we're gonna introduce the E85 just because, um, just to make sure there's no variables, as little variables as possible while we're tuning it. And then when I'm happy with the 93 tune or 91 tune, we're gonna go ahead and throw the E85 in the mix just because like I said, there's more variables with the with the Mustang on the 85 versus versus the trucks. The trucks are probably you can run E85 right off the bat unless you're boosted or something. But yeah, go ahead and load the tune, and then I'll show you guys how to set up the set up the uh, scanner to data log. All right. So the next step, I emailed myself on this configuration channel so I can show you guys uh, channel configuration so I can show you guys how it's done. So you download it, then you go show in folder. Go ahead and cut that, go to documents, and then you're gonna go to HP tuners, and then VCM scanner, and you're gonna go to channel configs. Go ahead and paste it there. Now, uh, I already have this file saved in here, so it's gonna ask me to replace it, but go ahead and place it there. I'm gonna press replace here. Okay, and then we're gonna open up the scanner. I use the beta version, so it's gonna give me a warning. So we're gonna go ahead and go right here where it says channels, recent channel configs, open channel config. And right there at the top is the one that I put, Coyote channel configs. And basically this has everything that I wanna see. All the rest of this here doesn't really matter. Um, that's just, uh, man, this thing focuses ugly. That's just uh, basically how, how the information is displayed and for you guys, it doesn't really matter. Uh, for me, uh, it's just basically personal preference how I like to see the information that I'm asking you guys to log. Um, what matters to me is all of this here. This has all the data that I, I want from your data log. So it's real easy. Now we start the car. All right. And you see right here where it says connect to vehicle. All right. And give it a sec to connect. See right there, it's uh, getting all the supported parameters. Jeez Louise, this thing's hard to, this thing's hard to uh, focus because it's dark right here and it's light right here. So the focus is uh, kind of annoying. And then uh, you, whenever you're ready to do your log, you're gonna press this record button. So you can just press record right off the bat and do all your logs on one pool, or you can do them all in one pool. I'm doing them how I direct you in the email. But you can go ahead and start while you're while you're sitting here idling. This way that um, you don't have to worry about hitting the record button while you're about to do your pull. So it's just recording the entire time. And I'll be able to tell when you're doing your pull. It tells me on there when you go wide open throttle and everything. So I'm gonna go stop by the GTR shop and uh, buy a draggy because I left the draggy in a customer's truck. Right here, the shop Houston. And these guys are nice enough to let me rent their dyno for our poverty our poverty coyotes <laughs> got my draggy that's probably like the uh fifth or sixth draggy that i've bought because they're so easy to lose especially when you use them all the time look at that, look at that. man these guys got these guys got some bad ass shit man out of my tax bracket look at that cool guys so uh, let's go ahead and start start data logging all right driving to a nice safe area on the other side of the border in mexico beautiful weather this year this time of the year in mexico beautiful it's right over this hill is our safe stretch of road and the beautiful country of mexico where i like to test my cars and trucks so i'm gonna go ahead and hook up to the draggy now this is gonna be a full weight 93 tune on uh for 60 to 130 so that's what that's the way that's what i test 
60 to 130 with the Mustangs and with the trucks. I normally do 40 to 100 or something like that, depending on the truck. So we'll see what it does. All right. Let's wait for this traffic to clear out. So I start in second, and I normally start at 40 miles an hour for the 6130. This way, uh, the uh, results are repeatable, and it's not it doesn't spin or anything like that. By the time you're going 60, it's not spinning or anything. So get it rolling. 30. So that's the data logged all of that and uh, that's pretty much what I'm gonna need from you and that was a 93 tune and just as an added uh, I guess entertainment I'm gonna go ahead and do it whenever the, I'm gonna run some more of this gas out and uh, we'll go ahead and add e85 to it and see what it does then 1012 is not bad at all full weight premium car 315s with my 290 pound ass in it not bad at all all right, so check this out. For some reason, it decided to stop logging right about here and then got all this bullshit, but I can't really uh, I can't really work with this uh, from you guys as a customer. Now, if that's the case, I'll tell you, and more than likely it's a connection issue with this stupid little distribution block thing for my USBs. I've been having issues with it, but um, more than likely that's the case. So, or whatever, let's just uh, use this one just to show you how you're going to save it. So log file save log file as and then uh save it in whatever folder you want so we'll just save it in this folder here that i already have open i'm gonna go ahead and put there log one we'll call it log one okay saved and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna reply to my email whatever you know my uh email you got your tune in you're gonna go to wherever you have your tune saved and wherever you have your data log saved so log one and then you're gonna go ahead and email it to me. Okay, and uh, it, another nice thing to do, to do would be to uh, go ahead and make sure you leave any comments there. I'm not connected to the internet, so it's not emailing it. I gotta connect with my Wi-Fi, with my hotspot on my phone. But that's pretty much it. That's how you data log, and that's how you send me a data log. That's how you open up the channel configs, and that's how you do everything that I need you to do as a customer. Just follow the instructions and the email I sent you. As man, my boy's bumping in the. Oh, central. Yes, sir, that's Kevin Gates. All right, let's go ahead and go get some E85. They don't have any here. That's diesel. I know that. This is just my spot that I normally stop in Mexico after I do a data log. I come here and review my data logs. I'm gonna make a change and then go back to my Mexican street there. But let's see. Man, my boy bumping. Let's go. Sheesh. We got 315s in the Sentra. Let's go get some uh, E85 and start tuning on E85. All right, guys. So you really don't need to know much. You know, it's dusty as hell. One thing that's pretty cool to know is the ethanol percentage right here. So it says ethanol fuel. Uh, let's see if it focus. It's not going to focus that great. Well, it says ethanol fuel and it tells me the percentage. So on your data logs, you wanna make sure that that's at least 65% or so if you're doing a flex field tune. This way, it, the tune does what I want it to do. So make sure you're at 65% if uh, you're doing a flex field tune or an E85 tune, most of the time a flex field tune. Make sure that that's at least 65% and you can see it on there right now. It's, it's learning right now, so it's still at 40. Uh, the Mustangs it takes a little longer. If you have a Gen 2 F-150, it will take forever to learn but um and i will need it to be around 65 percent for the data logs if you're doing an ethanol tune or a flex fuel tune or anything like that so uh, it's learning right now i'm gonna go ahead and drive back to mexico by the time we get over there it should learn it's a long drive it should be uh reading what i needed to read and we'll be good to go pro tip always watch out for the altima keep your distance from the altima as many cars away as you can just stay away from the altima the altima will ruin your life 
they're gonna wreck the car they're gonna cut you off first of all they're gonna cut you off for sure doesn't matter what's going on they're gonna they see you you know they're driving around they're like oh shit there's a person let me go cut them off for no reason just because i'm a, i drive an altima and that's what I, v6 chargers v6 challengers same thing so those are the three most deadly vehicles on the road today are altimas v6 chargers v6 challengers uh, if you care about your life keep your distance let's see if she does anything let's see let's see all right changing lanes way too late offense number one so she doesn't know that she was supposed to change lanes because she didn't know that this was an exit only lane and okay now driving extremely slow on the freeway we're going 48 49 uh, and, and again she doesn't know where she's going offense number two um all right so why not that would be technically offense number three so okay and so she put her blinker on earlier when she didn't need to and uh she realized that this is her exit so uh there's a few things there uh taking the exit too late driving way too slow and not knowing where you're going before you're going there that is an ultima uh, there should be enough room there tuning to do though so that's a beautiful thing that was basic that's still a base tune right there on e85 and now we're gonna go ahead and dial it in a little further see what she does so i hope you guys got a good idea on how you need a data log uh how to use the program a little bit it's a very easy process it's, it is a little more involved than let's say an engage and that you have to you know open up the config file you have to you know pr and press record actually it's really easy it just, I guess it seems a little bit more complicated than it actually is. So I hope that helped you out. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Email me, text me, call me, DM me. I don't answer on Facebook much because it's just, I don't like to answer on Facebook. Don't send me a friend request. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys have a good day. Hope that helped you out if you have any questions about data logging with HP Tuners.